Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show you PBR materials. So, uh, how to create good materials with texture maps, with occlusion maps, normal maps, and light maps. To do that, we go internet, go to textures.com. There you must have an account. I'm in there. And then you can download PBR materials. Some of them are for free and some cost. I have 9 credits left because I downloaded that before. Every time you see free that you can download for free. And I will show you today it on stone material that I downloaded from there. That's here. That material I downloaded. It's for free. You can do that also. When you download it, then you can download the maps of it. I will show you them. That are these maps. That here is the ambient occlusion map, AO. That is the normal map of this texture. And that is the roughness map for this texture. And that is uh, the albedo. So the normal um, yeah, material like it really looks and all these four uh, maps you should use to have a very good stone material and I want to show you how to make that in Blender so to do that I go here to Blender And for that, we take in a moment a simple object, like this stone. <laughs> yeah, like this cube. So, uh, we need here a um, shader editor. So you can figure it there. That is our material in the moment. This cube has this material. When you go here, that is the material folder. We have here material, we can change here the name, so we call it rock. So, what we have to do now, this material is there and we want to have another material, the stone material there. So, we need the base color not white, like it is in the moment. When we change here to red, then it will be red and so on, but first we want to let it add white, then we add texture, an image texture, and here we need the base color of that, that is the albedo. So open, we go to the folder where I downloaded the textures, and there we have here the albedo tiff. We take them, there's a 4K resolution, and then we connect the color of this image to the base color of the principal shader. We see here nothing because here it stands on solid mode, so it's always show only white. Here is material mode, there you see the material, and here we have the EV uh, render then. So, to see what I mean. You say, yeah, that looks like stone. No, not exactly. When you look there, it has no depth. It is absolutely no depth there. And it all close in the same way. There are not structures glowing in other not. And there are no depth, dark lines in the deep parts. To build a real ma material you need the other maps. So we want to do that now. First what we want to make is give them a little depth. Depth is mean the normal. The normal map is, I want to show you that, that here is the normal map. That shows the computer what teach 
when light comes there, how he should reflect that, how he should show that. And so you mean there is a depth, but there in real is no depth. That is a normal map, what they does. It looks like that, but it is a cube in real. A simple cube. So, to do that, we copy that uh, image and say here we want not the albedo. We get here in folder and take now the normal. So, we click there and then we have to connect the texture for the normal with the normal input of the principal shape. So to do that we need a um, step between and that means we have to take here vector add vector uh, normal map that comes between them because we here we have yellow and here that is uh, light blue. So you can't connect that so first you must go yellow to yellow and he makes it from yellow to a normal and then blue to blue that is a connection that is allowed. So we connect the color with the color and the normal with the normal. And you see nothing happens. Why nothing happens? Because it isn't unwrapped. So we have to unwrap that before and you see now here comes the 3D now it looks like it is has a depth or such. We go edit mode with tap key and then hit U to get an unwrap of that. And now we can take here by the normal map the UV map to it. So that is more um, handleable, I will say. Good. So we have now a depth. It looks deep. And when we disconnect it, you will see that is before without a normal map. So that looks. And when we get the normal map, it's like he render like that. And that is a huge other look. And this is only cube. Good. So that is what a normal map does and um, we can handle here the strengths, how strong that effect should be. So when we go down then it's only a little, when we make it harder it comes more out. There you can play with like you would have it. So when we see here what the light does, the light lights everything in the same um, value and that isn't correct so we need a light map that light map shows the computer where it should be uh, glossy or not glossy or real rough with no reflection or a flat reflection and so on so we go back to our downloaded files and here we have this roughness map it's called that shows white is um, not glossy and black is glossy uh, so better say that is um, not rough and that is real rough so we must get them into our node setup so for that we make here a little bit space and shift D will make a copy of the image but we want no Alberto we want now the roughness map so we go here to the folder and take now the roughness map it is a TIFF file but it's no problem so and when we now connect that roughness map with the roughness factor of the principal shader so color to roughness you will see that now he lights up only where it should be lighted and that is the difference when you look here like it looks now when I now disable that 
all is the same light and stuff no highlights no deep parts really there and when you connect the roughness you see how that changed the fine details are showable that is what we want there is rough and there is classy so that gives a more realistic look you see it there the only thing we have to do now is um, that we can handle how deep the cracks are looking uh, there it gives an ambient occlusion that makes all the cracks uh, much uh, darker more black and then it looks more like a very deep part or such good to handle that uh, we must we have here the albedo from the first and we must combine them with this um, ambient occlusion map so that means we have to copy that shift D and then here don't take the albedo we open up our download folder and take now the AO tiff it's the ambient occlusion uh, can show you that that is the ambient occlusion and that means all that is cracks they will be look more black and all what is white doesn't affect with that so the cracks are colored more in black and that looks then deeper gives some more contrast and that's what that does okay to get such we need here a um, uh, math node we bring that between the texture and the base color of the principal shader and now you have the opinion to say here how should that method be from the abeto and the ambient occlusion we can connect them and the value is here add so he brings the one to the other you see what we have there that is not that what I want I want another method it is the multiply so he takes that and the other and multiply that to one color but now I want to handle that and I only can handle that with a color ramp there are other methods but that is a good method so add uh, converter color ramp and bring that between We every time must wait a little to if he has um, actualized it and then you can play here with the values and you will see that now that gets darker as you go there and it goes lighter when you use there and so you can play around with that to make them more give them more depth or not and that is how you handle maps in principle it's simple we have a material output here there we have a surface that is there must come all together we have here the albedo that is the ground color of the stone the picture itself that normally goes straight to the color of the principal shader then we have here the normal map the normal map needs this normal map box and it needs an UV and then you connect the normal with the normal the normal map is there to convert the yellow signal to a blue signal and only that is all and here you can handle the strength of the 3d effect that you see then the roughness map makes it not glow all in the same intense it makes some close more and the other less and that only will connect color to the roughness of the principal shader 
and the contrast we made must be mixed with the albedo with the original picture and where it should be darker or not dark in the the parts that you can handle with the color ramp he mixed that together with a multiply and bring that out as a best as a base color when you look now that really looks good and so you make good materials thanks a lot for watching see you in the next tutorial bye